Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida, and on this week's show, we inspire you to stop coming up with excuses and chase your dream, just like our first story. Vivian Villarreal is simply put the best Latina to ever play pool. A multi-time nine ball world champion and former number one ranked player in the world, San Antonio's Villarreal, AKA the Texas Tornado, has seen the ultimate heights of achievement, but she's also experienced the lows, like when she lost her adoptive daughter to a kidnapping. That began her seven year quest to find her daughter, all while fighting to get back to the top of her game. It's an incredible journey and one you'll only see here on Latin Nation. I'm Vivian Viaria, the Texas Tornado, professional billiard player. I was born and raised in San Antonio, and it used to be a cleaners and a bar and then a restaurant, and my parents, my mom and dad, decided to buy a little bar table, and uh, we put it into the lounge, and uh, I would go upstairs, because my grandmother would live upstairs, and I would stay with her, and then I would go downstairs and help her clean, and then I would get on a milk carton and just hit those balls and hit those balls and hit those balls. And, and you know, I just loved the game. You know, um, I, I could hear till right now my grandmother screaming to get off the table because I'm gonna break my neck, you know, but I would just, every day, just for hours and hours. And then my dad started noticing how good I was. And, but my dad was a really good pool player and a really good golfer. Basically, my goal was to beat him. You know, and, and one day I finally beat him. And there he is, you know, at the age of what, eight to 12 years old in the cantinas. My mom was so upset um, taking me, you know, I would go to school, you know, I was playing sports, basketball, volleyball, track, playing all kinds of sports. I was very good at, you know, very athletic. And then I would kick a nap and there we are in the Harley going to the pool rooms. And I, what, won over, what, 200 trophies by playing all these adults, 30, 40 year old women and playing some of the guys and, and winning tournaments. Usually when everybody plays and it's a stroke, everybody's stroking and stroking. I'm just one, two, fire, one, two, fire, like one, two, boom. And Duffy has trained me that way, you know. He says when I'm playing so well, I don't even miss a ball or maybe just miss one ball. But he says I'm like dancing around like a ballerina. and. Uh, and I just shoot fast, you know, and, and that's why one day I was at a, a tournament in, in Chicago and this man just kept making these noises. He was like, shh, shh, and I was like, excuse me, sir, I'm trying to play here. He goes, no, shh, he goes, I, I hear a funnel cloud coming. And I was like, what? I said, I'm in the middle of the tournament. He goes, no, I feel a funnel cloud coming. He goes, you know what? It's a tornado. And he goes, you know what? You are the Texas tornado. That's how I got my name. And I was like, oh my God. So ever since that, everybody called me the Texas Tornado. I've always gone out there and, and had fun. My dad has always told me, mija, just go out there and have fun. So I sing, I laugh, I talk to the crowd. Every time I win, I do this, the crowd does this. And, and if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be out there. And I think that's why I have a lot of fans. You know, it's because they all wish everybody was like me, uh, but uh, I guess that's another way I release my pressure too. You know, it's hard to be out there playing on TV and, you know, being number one in the world and, and trying to win your events, you know, but uh, I have a great time when I'm out there. I've never been a quitter. You know, I've been the only Mexicana to be number one in the world for five years. You know, I was lonely at the top because everybody's coming at you trying to get that spot. But you're gonna do whatever it takes. Basically, that's my advice to everybody else is to never give up, to have faith, 